I'm gonna show you how mentally ill I am. See this here? This is the executive orders uh, that American presidents have signed to get uh, people killed. I do sign for every one of you, including Donald Trump, Kamala Harris, this kind of executive orders. If I, if I was empowered to do so, I do sign them. However, these executive orders that I would sign would want to have them implemented in a such a way so that I could witness to this killing. And it would be a slow, systematic, as painful as much as possible killing and, of course, as long as possible killing. I do sign Mr. Burns for you, for Kamala Harris, for every one of you motherfuckers. You talked about it could be like this and it could be like that. You wasted me 53 years of life. I got no business to talk to you in any different tone. I got no business to consider you in any other light, any other way. This is not a mental illness. This is the consequence of your powers that state entrusted you with and you instead have exercised for your benefits, for the benefits of the enemies of the state, enemies of the United States of America, at least enemies for what the United States of America supposedly stands for, against me. That's what this is. I ain't got no business to see myself in any kind of mental illness and I ain't got no business to see myself in a court in a civil court, I got. I was the one who was trialed in Slovenia in civil courts through the civil court system indifferently, therefore without the right to say, without the right to even attend, without the right to even have a personal attorney, without the right to a second opinion of even psychiatrist after I was labeled as a mentally ill in 2012. And thrown inside of the psychiatric uh, hospital on psychiatric pills to cause me as much harm as possible. Therefore, after almost 40 years of torture, I ain't got no business to think like Natasha Pirtz Musar. It doesn't pertain to me, this kind of thinking. It pertains to your crime. This type of thinking, it's how you want to see this thing is. You want public to see, to share their views with you. You want public to uh, consider whatever is left out of my life as normal and not normal. Everything in between, what was it? I got no business to think about court procedures or whether you did this or you did not do this or you, whatever you. In my country, we do not recognize court, military court of Joseph Stalin, like the one it was used against me in Slovenia. Maybe this is A freebie that you're going to get from me, that you get from me. We don't use this kind of court. In my country, we only judge people based on their criminal deeds, if they, they are involved in them. And the higher the level of the people, the higher of the pyramid the people rank, the more people are responsible for it. The less... In the bottom was a mere audience that participated for the sake of their careers, for the sake of their jobs, benefits, on your behalf, at your behalf, at whatever they were involved in. So this isn't about how do I see things, as, why do I see things in a particular way, why do I see myself in something, why would I why would I consider certain things uh, if I am not mentally ill? This is about your ability, your capacity 
blocking me from the right to courts, to justice, for which reason I do not recognize courts, any kind of courts at all. This is your capacity to block me and instead even use police against me. You, you exercise, you enforce your crime, your genocide against me through the use of the police. Therefore, a services, a public services that's supposed to be the first line of defense of an individual in a civilized society. I'm not going to even say democracy. Am I correct? Therefore, you use what should be my defense, a primary defense. You use that against me as a tool, as a tool of choice, as a tool of violence, basically against me. No, I ain't got no business. I ain't got no business to think about your civil courts and the way you think it's normal and it's not normal. You destroyed me fifty-three years of life. I am coming from a different world. Thanks God, I am in my own state. State of mind. If I wouldn't be in a state of mind I am, he would end up mindlessly, like in so many cases of other victims you killed. I'm not the first victim. And I don't believe I am the last victim you have done this to. There were millions of people that were subjected to MK Ultra. Torture, bestiality, lynching. Some of which they got away with it really well. As soon as they declared the case. I understand, I heard at least. They were assisted. They got assistance. Kamala Harris, Barack Obama, Donald Trump. As a matter of fact, all these politicians from the United States of America, including Joe Biden, you all bragged about it could be like this and it could be like that. What in life could be like this and what in life could not be like this after you, with me, from my point of view, from my perspective, after you labeled me as mentally ill, you explained to me in 2012, without having a single, one single proof about mental illness when it was exactly contrary to it. In fact, you proceeded and declined to acknowledge that it was MKUltra procedure, a bestiality procedure that was enforced against me, not only forced unemployment. So, how do you expect me to view you or anyone else for that matter when you continue to insist it could be like this, it could be like that. Uh, and why anybody like myself whose life was destroyed, annihilated, would even consider to see you any different? In previous video, in a video below, above actually, I suggested that you could stop here. No, you could not stop here. None of you is allowed. None of you is welcome to stop here. None of you is welcome to. I would even say if I get you anywhere near here. Now I'm going to break iron stick on you. The thing is, I probably wouldn't do this. Uh, but I would call the police. I would call services to restrain you. If you were to approach me in any way. I don't appreciate you. It's worthless for me. Your royal king status or your prime minister status or your minister status or whatever fucking political status you have. You understand? You could not actually stop here and say hello. That is true. However, how the fuck you go and you make a stop in a country of an individual who became American citizen, even natural citizen in the year 2000, and in whose crime American citizen American government was involved since his early childhood, like, is exactly for what it is. Before doing something about it, which in your case, of course, Mr. Burns, Central Intelligence Agency and Federal Bureau investigation, it's too late. Now it's going to be my complaint first that will sit on your table based on which you will act because that's how we work in my country 
That's how we work. When you fuck with my country, you sit atop of the bayonet. I don't know how you say that in English language, but that's a tip that used to be attached to the tip of the gun, basically, and it's sharp. When you fuck with me to this degree, when you go and you want me to curse life for the hell of it and compel me to make myself look weird on the internet, then there is a price to pay. Then there is a protocol in my country we follow. And before we change our stand, we are not in this world anymore. You understand? Because I want to be remembered by something in this world. You can call me Charles Manson number two if you like. But I want to be remembered by something in this world. I want to be remembered for what I was, what was done to me, not what I was. Yes, what I was for you, for your sake, for your country's sake, and foremost for what was done to me. I want this memory to live. I want memory on Charles Manson to live. I want memory on a killer of Kennedy, Oswald, whatever he, Lee Harvey. I really don't see myself in it. And under no circumstances would I advocate individual like this. Under any circumstances, I condemn it this type. He was mentally ill. But I want memory on you through Harley Lee Oswald to leave. I want people to understand what Central Intelligence Agency is all about, who you are at Central Intelligence Agency, at the Federal Bureau Investigation, if that's what makes you better at Central Intelligence Agency. So you're not going to say that I go against you and I favor somebody else or whatever. I judge you exactly for what you are. And you are up to no fucking good, boy. You are up to no fucking good. You incited me to escape to Russia. You incited me to escape to Belarus. You were the one motherfucker who teached me at the border between the Poland and the, between the Belarus where the Polish government repeatedly delivered me with your central intelligence agency people, spies, right in front of the fence which separates Poland and Belarus for two decades to jump over, to throw, to toss the fucking luggage over and jump over the fence and run on the Belarus side. What kind of violence is this, Mr. Burns? What kind of a violence is this, Mr. Burns? What kind of democracy is this? What kind of country are you? What kind of constitution? What kind of bill of rights? That's you and that's me. Meeting each other now, not with you, but with the Sia, through you, through your eyes now. You will be seen, Central Intelligence Agency, you will be seen. Exactly for what William Burns have done to me. That's how I will spend my money on you for the rest of my life, for as long as I breathe. I don't know what that's going to bring you to. I don't know what confidence and what... Trust in people is going to be like. But uh, you did make Mr. Milan Kuchin, Robert Golob, and Vladimir Putin extremely happy about it. If not before, then tonight.